Hello friends, welcome to Insights Icon Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about Right to Information Act and the agency set in which is responsible for the oversighting of cyber security in India that agency exempted from RTI. In this context, we are going to observe the video contents. So what are the video components? These are the video components. First, we are going to discuss about why it is in news. Already explained to you why it is in news. Then we are going to discuss about what is set in, what is the organization nature, what they will do. Then which agency is so far exempted? Like now we give an exemption to set in. In this way, previously which agencies got exempted? Then importance for India. That means why the set in is very important to India. Then we are going to discuss about right to information act who will implement the right to information act and if someone have any problem regarding the right to information act where they can go that means the appellate authority so this is the flow of this video topics now let us see without any further delay and of course this is going to be the so s yes. okay anyhow in this video we are going to discuss about both cyber security as well as rta and the syllabus mapping is this video is related to science and technology and governance especially the governance rta in this governance you can map this topic with important aspect of governance transparency and accountability to this topic you can match now let's see why it is in news union government through department of personal and training dopd they given a notification that they are exempting the set in actually set in is a agency which is responsible to oversight cyber security in india apart from that they also helps in creating awareness about the cyber security they publish reports and they provide resources as well if any agency subjected to cyber security now they exempted from which act right to information act 2005 tell me students right to information act is related to which fundamental rights put your answer in the comment section now after they exempted from this now that means they are operating outside of the rta so that they can they cannot they can deny if any information request comes under rta that means public access to this certain operations will be limited because in the best interest of the nation security that we have to understand certain is exempted under which section section 24 class 2 of rta act under this section few agencies can be exempted from rta act those exempted agencies we will see okay those exempted agencies are so far ib intelligence bureau Directorate of Revenue Intelligence, Directorate of Enforcement, Narcotic Control Bureau and other organizations. Whichever the organizations they were exempted, they put under Schedule 2. Once a particular organization is put under Schedule 2 of Section 24 Class 2, then obviously that agency is exempted from RTI. So that means that is limiting the public access to that agency. You know that students, the exact 180 degrees opposite to this RTI is official secrets act official secret act will protect the classified information the information which affects the security of the country okay next what is certain here you have to understand certain is the national nodal agency for what for protecting and handling the cyber security threats such as hacking phishing it operates under the ministry of electronics and information technology and the certain is operational since 2004 you know that it act was enacted in the year of 2000 next importance to india this certain it is important to india it helps in protecting the critical information such as for example india's information related to nuclear reactors and the information related to army and navy bases that means information related to defense all this kind of critical information is taken care by certain apart from that it helps in cyber surveillance and it helps in improving our readiness to face various cyber attacks and it provides service to government agencies and defense banking telecom and they also contribute to national security and economic development of the country by providing safe and secure cyberspace so this is the significance of certain agency now why they exempted from the rta they exempted from the rta because Sometimes they are dealing with the very important issues related to national security. So that because of that reason, because of the sensitiveness it involves, that is the reason we exempted from RTI. So RTI, 
This RTA Act was brought in 2002. We can say RTA is a sunshine loss. Such that means these laws are reflecting the future thinkingness of the government. RTA is a legislative framework which grants citizens access towards the information, and that information is related only to the public authorities. You have to understand RTA is not applicable to private individuals. That you have to understand, and you can easily correlate RTA to fundamental rights such as Article 19, Clause 1, Sub Clause A, which deals with the freedom of speech and expression. And this RTA Act it replaces the previous law such as. Freedom of Information Act 2002. Now let's see constitutional backup. Of course, like I said earlier, RTA is related to right to life as well as right to freedom of speech and expression. Because even you cannot enjoy the right to life unless until you know certain information regarding the public authority. That was upheld by the Supreme Court in a very popular case such as Rajnarayan versus State of Uttar Pradesh. In these cases, even you know, like some other examples, other cases also. Putta Swami case as well. Some of the cases where Sup Supreme Court upheld the right to information as one of the fundamental rights. What is the time period to get the information? Generally, whatever the information asked by the applicant, it will be provided between 48 hours to 30 days based on what kind of information sought by the applicants. According to Section 8, Clause 1, there are certain exemptions. If the information sought is related to national security, and strategic state matters and foreign relations and etc that information will not be provided that information is exempted in the best interest of the national security next who is implementing the rta of course the implementing agency is also very important rta is implemented by the public information officer they act as a nodal officers for the implementation of rta act this public information officer is a designated officer in a each and every public authority sometimes they may be the officers who perform regular duties in their offices and to those regular officers the additional duty will be given those additional duties are the PIO duties they act as a bridge between the organization as well as the people whoever applied under RTI those will be processed by the PIO and PIO responsibility to provide the information in case if an individual is not satisfied with the PIO then they can go to the appellate authority if this individual not satisfied with the PAO response, then the people can appeal to the first appellate authority within the same public authority, that means within the same office. Further, they can appeal to the central as well as the state information commission, that is the next levels. Of course, here the one of the most important thing and critics also arguing very, 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 you know, like very severely is regarding the recent amendments to RTA Act. What are the recent amendments? Actually, according to the recent amendments, government can decide the tenure of the information commissioners and even the government will decide the salaries and allowances. That means the information commissioners, they are not enjoying the security of tenure and security of salary. That means you are affecting the independency of the commissions. That is what majority of the people were critical. Right to Information Amendment Act 2019, they altered the tenure and conditions of the information commissions as well as the chief inform information commissioners. Now they fixed the tenure to three years. Previously, five years tenure. Now the current is set up as a three years and it depends on the government. The government may change the tenure as well. And the salary and allowances and service conditions of the information commissioners as well as the CAs, CACs that can be changed as well by the central government. That means the information commissions now they became toothless that is the summary now if you see the yesterday's video question let's see which of the following cities hosted the cop 26 summit in 2021 the city is glasgow cop 27 is sharm el sheikh egypt let's see today's question okay today's question is what is the term for the international organization that promotes the transparency and combat corruption by facilitating the exchange of information between the governments and the private sector which agencies doing are performing this function next main question the right to information act is not all about citizens empowerment alone it essentially redefines the concept of accountability as well okay that means it is apart from empowering the citizens it is also promoting the accountability of the government how you can support this statement this is the main question 
Now, as we reach to the end of this video, let us revise quickly. So, in this video, we are discussing about the agency set in it is exempted from RTA. In this context, we discussed about what is certain, what kind of functions it performs, and what why it is exempted, under what section it exempted, what are the other agencies exempted already. Then we discussed about RTA, why RTA is called a Sunshine Act, and who are responsible for the implementation of RTA, and what is the appellate authority, and in which condition information can be exempted. That in that is the reason that those are the things we discussed. And this is a detailed analysis regarding the certain exemption from the RTA. Thank you.